So we're going to start with the, um, move this thing down a little bit. We're going to start with the, the basics of boxing. Boxing ultimately is about uh, striking to protect yourself, typically striking with the hands uh, and elbows, um, checking with the shoulder, uh, head butts and such. We're going to leave all that out, the so-called dirty boxing. And we're going to leave out any kicking or striking with the lower limb. We'll consider that for like more of the Eastern martial arts, uh, Taekwon, Taekwondo, Karate, Savat, kickboxing. We'll go into that uh, in another series. We're just going to basic pugilism and we're going to go through that. So there, it, it could not be more simple. There are four basic punches. There's the jab, right? The cross, we're going to get into that in a minute. The hook and the uppercut. And these are, boxing is so old and these, uh, these terms are almost ubiquitous. People have heard uppercut, uh, the hook, uh, you know, jab, um, cross is a little, uh, sometimes called a reverse punch or a rear straight. So these are going to be your four basic punches and you're going to label them one, two, three, and four. And we're going to go into, uh, I'll do separate videos on each of them that will come out and teach you some of the basics because there's, uh, there's, there's lots to cover. But you're going to use these four basic punches as your offense. And in boxing or in self-defense, uh, especially if you're using striking or pugilism, it's a sorry fact that the, he who strikes first strikes last. Meaning if you're going to throw the first punch, you're probably going to come out ahead. Uh, as far as uh, legal purposes and such, if you're not in danger of... Um, immediate unavoidable danger of grave bodily harm or death, then you're not allowed to use lethal force and protection of yourself. So we'll get into that in another video. Maybe you're just boxing for fun. So uh, the best, best defense, a good offense. So we're going to focus on the punches first, and then we'll, we'll spend time on some of the footwork and the defensive things. Basically, you're going to use uh, the same stance, and we'll go over footwork in uh, upcoming videos on this series too, but let's cover the basics of uh, boxing. So the jab and the cross are both uh, linear. They're going to use uh, linear force. The jab and the cross are both, my fists are going to come from my um, ready position straight forward. I'm going to straighten my arm out, right? So I'm using linear force. The hook and the uppercut are the two that use angular force, right? We're going to use angular force. These are my arms are going to be bent and I'm going to use some rotations and twists and things to, to um, derive the, the force I need to throw these punches. So you have two that are straight and two that are on a, a rotation or angular uh, basis. Um, further delineating these uh, four are, uh, is your stance. So a basic stance, I'll see if back up just a little bit so they can see my stance. So I'm going to show you in what's called an orthodox stance. Uh, I typically fight left-handed or box left-handed just because of an injury one time. I had to, after 10 years, I had to relearn because I couldn't use my left shoulder. So now we go both sides, although I prefer left. Your stance is going to be one side in front. If you're right-handed, you're typically going to have your right hand to the rear and your left hand in front. This is called an orthodox or a, a left lead, right? Switching to the other side is just a right lead, sometimes called the southpaw for different reasons, not boxing history class. You can get into that later. So when I'm in my stance with my left foot forward and my right to the rear, for this, ser this series, you're going to do um, the most basic boxing stance. You're going to turn your shoulders about 45 degrees, your torso to the front, so that my left shoulder's in line with my left leg and to the front. My left foot's gonna be turned in slightly. My rear foot is going to have the heel off the ground. Maybe I'll wear shorts in the, the footwork video so you can see better. So my weight is biased toward the front and my knuckles are lightly touching my cheekbones. Both forearms are parallel and pinched in. We don't box like this, right? Or with your hands down or any of this nonsense, you're not uh, Floyd Mayweather. So you're going to stay in this stance. And the general rule for the boxing series when you practice is you're never going to have more than one hand off your face at a time. The hand returns before you do or while you're doing combinations. So this is your stance, left lead. Okay? These punches are um, further differentiated by the, the stance. So when my lead arm, my left, throws my straight punch, that's a jab. The jab is done with the lead hand. If I switch over here, now this is the jab, and this is no longer the jab. 
Okay? The jab is that lead hand, okay? the lead hand. The rear hand throws a punch in the linear fashion. This is called a rear straight, a reverse punch, a right cross, right? the overhand right. Okay? I prefer to call it the reverse punch or the cross because the cross is how you're going to use it typically. That's the rear hand. Lead hand is a jab. Same punch with the rear hand is going to be the cross, the reverse punch, okay? the right rear straight. Now, the other two, the angular, they're not necessarily named for the stance. However, by convention, when I say hook without any kind of qualifiers, it means lead hand, right? The lead hand is my hook. Obviously, I can throw a rear hook, right? I can throw hooks high to the head, hooks low to the body. I can throw rear hooks to the head. I can throw long rear hooks to the body. Uh, we'll get into that later. Same thing with the uppercut. By convention, the uppercut is the rear hand, okay? The rear hand. I can throw a lead uppercut. I can throw a shovel uppercut, okay? I can throw a short uppercut. But by convention, hook is lead, uppercut is rear. So you can see how they're numbered. If I throw the jab, one, straight with the lead. Two, straight with the rear. Three, angular with the lead. Four, angular with the rear. One, two, three, four. That's where you get that phrase, give them the old one, two. That's the jab and the rear, okay? So that's kind of the basics of the punches and how they're named. Um, the two linear, the two angular, lead punch, rear punch, and uh, they alternate left, right, left, right. And then there's uh, quite a bit of variety as you go down. So in the next video, Next few videos, we'll start breaking these punches down individually and their variations and how to throw them. And then we'll start uh, working on the footwork as well. And then we'll start throwing in your, um, your, your head defense as we go. So uh, that's it. If you're interested in following along, like, subscribe, leave some comments. And do bear in mind before you start leaving comments about the minutia of boxing, that this is a series set up to give the very, very basic overview of boxing to uh, the layperson so that they can enjoy uh, learning how to uh, do some fisticuffs and um, prepare to defend themselves possibly. Okay, that's it.